Hello everyone, welcome to the sixth instalment of the Where to Mix series, in which I only cover the e-liquids that are earnestly worth mixing. This video is going to be on Fantastic, a Fantasia remix by Dazco from over all the flavours. As usual, all links you'll need will be in the description below. The flavour profile is based off the Fanta drink. Now whilst Fantasia was used for inspiration, bear in mind it's not a clone of that e-liquid, but honestly it's one of the best orange vapes I've ever tasted. This is one of the more complex recipes due to 8 flavours being used. These are Blood Orange by Flavor West, Cactus by Inuera, Dragon Fruit by TPA, Marshmallow by TPA, Super Sweet by Cap, Sweet Tangerine by Cap, Mandarin by Flavor Arts, and WS23, which you can get from pretty much anywhere. I just got mine from Chef's Flavors, and a link will be in the description. If you aren't a fan of icy vapes, then just forget the WS23. The first time I made this, I didn't bother using it and it was still lush. The bottle I'm vaping today though does have it in, it's about a month old, however your steep times don't need to be anywhere near this long. Dazco recommends 3 days, which is pretty bang on to be honest, although it is possible to shake and vape this, but I wouldn't, I'd wait a few days at least. You'll notice it holds this beautiful orange colour which I find really adds to the appeal of I know some people are a bit funny about things like that and just like clear liquids. A full bodied orange aroma is the first thing to hit you as you smell this, with a definite tanginess and it might just be me but it also smells cold and refreshing. Vaping this though is the important part and where this recipe really shines through. <sighs> The inhale is sweet and wet with icy coolness hitting the back of my throat. All the mouthfeel we associate with an ice cold fizzy drink is definitely there. This is that skillful combination of Cap Super Sweet and Inuera Cactus at work. The exhale though is where the actual flavour comes out and you hit with this full bodied orange sweetened just enough by that tangerine to hit that realistic taste. The mandarin adds this subtle, tangy zest to the orange, just like the sort of thing you experience when drinking a fresh glass of orange juice, but just slightly less. The dragon flute plays the role of tying these fruits together, as you might expect if you've ever used it in recipes before. To me, it has the effect of blending them together as if removing the boundaries and just letting them taste as a compound rather than a mixture. Having TP as marshmallow in there sort of confused me before I made this recipe. I wondered why it was chosen and at 0.5%, it seemed like a sort of arbitrary addition to an otherwise meticulous chemistry constructed by Daz Curl. After thoroughly reading the flavour notes and the recipe and tasting it for the first time myself, I understood it though. It calms the flavours down, preventing too much of a citrus kick or harshness. It's the final piece of the puzzle, the smoothness you get with the addition of this is simply sublime. Now obviously the WS23 adds that coolness and it is quite icy, like if you like cold things I'd seriously lower the percentage on this, but if you like icy things then just leave it as it is. So big thanks to Dazco for allowing me to show the flavour and percentages within this video. Please head over to all the flavours and check out the pro as his profile as there's loads of great recipes aside from this one. And uh, make sure to give it a rating if you decide to make it. I'd also love to hear from you in the comments if you've already tried this. Thanks for watching and check out my channel for more videos like this one.